a large number of technology problems are solved using code. Whether you're building a web app in HTML and JavaScript, a desktop app in C Sharp, or analyzing data using Python and other data science tools. But what tool should you use to write this code? Visual Studio Code, or VS Code for short, is a free open source text editor for developers that runs on Windows, macOS, and Linux. Out of the box, it supports web development with HTML, JavaScript, and TypeScript, with full IntelliSense, debugging support, and built-in support for Git version control. It also has multiple themes ready for those who prefer a dark mode over a light mode. What makes VS Code really powerful is its array of extensions, some from Microsoft, others built by individuals and companies the world over. These are add-ons that expand the abilities in a huge range of different ways. They're programming language extensions, bringing you the features you expect from a full development environment to multiple languages, such as Python, Java, C++, C Sharp, F Sharp, Go, Ruby, and PHP. With these extensions, you can spin up a new project in seconds, edit your code, and debug your app at runtime. There are also extensions to access different services. For example, the Azure extension allows you to connect to Azure, spin up new services, view the status of them, and then delete them when you're done. Additional Azure extensions provide access to Cosmos DB databases, the ability to create, debug, and deploy websites using Azure App Service, or build, debug, and deploy serverless code using Azure Functions. If you're an IoT developer, you are covered well with, an, with Azure IoT extensions to allow you to manage your IoT services, including monitoring messages from devices, updating device twins to send data to a device, or managing deployments of AI models to the edge. You can also code against a huge range of supported boards with extensions such as Platform.io, an extension that has built, debugging, and monitoring support for over 800 popular IoT boards from Adafruit to Wio, with framework support from Arduino to Zephyr. If you're a container developer, VS Code has full Docker support, allowing you to compose, run, and test your containers, then deploy them to a container registry. VS Code also has great support for remote development, so whilst running on your PC or Mac, you can connect to a remote device and build, deploy, and debug your code. This code can be running in a container or on a different machine, supporting PCs running Windows or Linux, Macs, even on Raspberry Pis. One example would be if you have a shared data science virtual machine running on the cloud. You can connect to it remotely from inside VS Code and code as if you were physically connected to the virtual machine. As well as GitHub support, VS Code is another powerful tool for collaborating, LiveShare. LiveShare allows multiple users to co-edit files, chat using text or audio, share terminals, and commit each other's code, all from their own instances of VS Code. You see the code using your own themes and layouts, but editing the same code as someone else. You can invite others to join live sessions and control their permissions, such as allowing them to edit the code, but not check it in. You're not just limited to VS Code. You can also connect to others who are using Visual Studio or VS Code. This is a great tool for a hackathon, allowing the entire team to work on the same source code if needed, or allowing remote participants to be able to jump in and help wherever your fellow hackers are in the world. You can download VS Code for free from aka.ms slash hackathons slash VS Code.